Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Black Bear Hunter coming at you again and we're here to talk about a beer from Tall Tales Brewing Company. The name of the beer, as you can see, is Ginger Snap. So basically, this is a ginger, uh, gingerbread, uh, a gingerbread stout, um, gingerbread snap, uh, gingerbread cookies, gingerbread, whatever. So at the end of the day, um, yeah, you know, um, this one, uh, this beer here is uh, brewed in uh, Parsonsburg, Maryland. Uh, this is a local, so we're going back local again. Um, and so, yeah, let's uh, let's uh, check this beer out. You know, um, uh, so basically, like I said, it's in a gingerbread imperial stout, nine point four percent ABV, sixty IBUs, twelve ounce bottle format, right? Um, nothing special about the bottle. Um, just letting you know that they're part of the uh, Maryland uh, Craft Brewer Association. It's brewed, like I said, local. Um, give you a little bit of data um, as far as like uh, the specifics on the beer. Um, and yeah, you know, give you a little note to let you know that this beer would be great by a campfire. Ooh. I, I mean, or when you're binge watching a uh, <laughs> binge watching a series, um, so in, in my case, so uh, yeah, um, let's crack this beer, um, take a look at it, um, smell it, taste it, you know, um, and and have a small chat. So um, let me get out the the old school bottle opener and uh let's pop this bad boy oh. quality packaging got a little co2 coming out of here um let's get a little whiff on that yeah whoo yeah straight ginger ginger forward not a bad deal so um as you can see it's a brown like uh like a dark brown um uh, pour coming off of there nice head um light tan head um kind of sudsy right looking really good looking delicious i mean but it, it poured like light brown you know you can kind of see it like it was like a really dark amber like chestnut look to it um, in the glass, it has that chestnut hue. Um, looks like the head is receding pretty quick. But um, it looked pretty thin, right? Um, not, not a deal breaker. Not a deal breaker. So, um, minimal. The head's minimal. Receding pretty quick. Um, sudsy. Um, kind of spotty lacing, right? Like, it's kind of like, it's not uniformed with the lacing which is um i guess you know still still you know a lot of things could be going on um it still could taste great like look at that it's holding on to the glass so it may linger pretty well um which i i love um especially with a beer that has a lot of uh like a with a ginger uh abstract um, you definitely can get a lot of different, um, like like I said, it can linger around and hang on your tongue and change in complexity as it warms. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and check out the aroma, right? Yeah, it's like straight ginger fresh ginger too like that i'd like to know what company uh if that was a local ginger that they're using uh because it smells really good and um man i mean you know you get a little roast some spice some malt um not real strong in the with the with the malts but definitely with the ginger and the spice nose forward um it, it hits the front of your nose and um stays there um, but at the end of the day, um, it's, it's, it's called a ginger snap. <laughs> so that's what you should, 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 uh, expect. Um, yeah, um, 
So let's taste it. See exactly what Tall Tales is uh, trying to get across to us. To see if they actually, uh, if what we smell is actually what we're going to taste. So with that being said, cheers YouTube. Mm. Ooh. So, um, it's real, like, it's semi-sweet, but that ginger is straight up front. The ginger slash gingerbread, um, is, is extremely aggressive. Um, not for me, uh, I'm not sure how some other people would take it. This is definitely a ginger, um, it's a ginger stout. It definitely is a ginger ale, ginger stout, ginger beer, um, whatever you want to call it. It's it's straight ginger. Um, you get a little semi-sweet dark chocolate, um, some black licorice. Um, it's a little malty. You know, in the back end, you get like a tons of malts after, after you, you know, Go ahead and, 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 and take a big swallow. You get the malts. Because um, like right up front, if you let it sit on your tongue, you're going to get a, bu a bunch of ginger and some other spices. But at the end of the day, um, you do get some walnuts. Um, you can taste those, uh, the dark roast, um, dark roasted malts or dark roast coffee too. Um, and, and a bit of caramel, right? Um, yeah, yeah, man, it's, it, it's definitely a ginger stout. So, um, with that being said, let's taste it again. It sat for a second. Um, it didn't, it's not like, hold on. Hmm. There may be a little cinnamon in here. It's starting to come out as it warms up. You get a little cinnamon. Real light, real faint, but it is definitely there. But it, it starts to taste a little different as it warms up. Um, not a bad beer. Um, not a bad beer at all. Not a great beer. A little too thin for my taste for a stout. Um, for an imperial stout, it's a little too thin. But... Um, they, it's a good delivery, balanced well. It is it is exactly what it says um, when it tells you that it's a ginger snap. <laughs> you know, you you do get a real fresh bite from this beer. You smell it up front when you when you go to um, pour it and, and when you first pop the bottle, it smells and tastes like fresh ginger. I love, you know, when when they use um, fresh ingredients and that's exactly what you taste so mouthfeel like i said extremely thin for an imperial style it's well carbonated um light body um so you could probably go through a few of these in a sitting easily um and it, it, on top of it uh yeah it's 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 definitely yeah body wise it's just thin uh, you can't really say much more about that um and the carbonation um it's like medium carbonation on this you get a, you get a decent amount of carbonation so overall it's basically ginger and a bit of chocolate uh, i'd say ginger and dark roast coffee um the ginger is definitely well infused. It's not wild to the point where it's a turn off. It's actually balanced pretty well for a ginger stout. I've had companies that were, I guess you could say they were doing like pumpkin ales and in, in some uh, gingerbread type ales and gingerbread stouts and they were using artificial ginger, which is disgusting to me um so at the end of the day 
this actually has a great delivery with their uh, if this was an artificial ginger they would surprise the f out of me i'd be really surprised um but the, the only problem i have with the beer is that it's just a bit too thin um for me personally uh, i i love like a more hearty um beer especially when it comes to stouts i like different deliveries this one actually like i said it's, it's pretty good it's, it's easy to drink and so um i'd say um if you like ginger try it out try it out see what you think um and um hit me up <clears throat> let's talk beer you already know how it works for me i like talking beer you like talking beer we can it yeah it don't make a difference if it's the beer that that's in question let's just have that conversation about great good old craft beer right so um yeah and with that being said i'm going to go ahead back to my uh tv watching uh crush this series um and um yeah cheers youtube talk to you later